Hello, everybody. Give me a shout out. Let me know if you can hear me. Great. Okay. So, as we mentioned last time, we are talking about hard surface today. And so, let me bring in the syllabus. Uh, we should, if we held to the original, be talking about texturing and then we move to topology, and it should be a while before we even get to hard surface, too. But I think hard surface really needs to be broken into three sections now that they've uh, really ramped up the tool set. So I want to get into hard surface two today. Um, so let me just confirm again, you can hear my voice all right. The uh, screen is broadcasting okay. There's no audio lags, anything like that, right? Okay. Great. All right, so um, let me just go through the curriculum for today really quickly and give you a sense of, of how we're going to do this. Um, let me actually start my screen draw program too. So the first thing that we need to do is look at this from just a real basic perspective of, uh, let's say, there we go. Uh, and we need red. Say so we're going to look at polygrouping and masking. Okay, we've already kind of looked at polygrouping and masking, uh, but now we're going to kind of look at that, jump ourselves into panel loops, take a quick demo of just this real basic functionality. And then once we're done with that, uh, just with that real basic look, then we're going to start to get more complicated. So we're going to look at panel loop itself, Make sure we know what the features are, um, what these settings uh, are for adjusting things, things of that nature. Take a quick gander into what's panel loops versus groups loops. Uh, so you can see that panel loops is, is really a, a combination of feature sets. It's not necessarily a totally brand new feature set. Um, then we're going to get into an instrument panel demo. And in this instrument panel demo, we're going to keep things real simple. We're going to start with the same tools that we used up here with the polygroup and masking. And then we're going to start to look at where and why they become problematic. And so we'll eventually need to get into slice. And then we're going to need to get into a little bit more stuff in terms of the regroup panels, how to use that, how to extrude within ZBrush. And then we'll take a look at the insert multi-mesh brushes to just quickly add some nuts and bolts and things like that. Okay. Once that's done, we're going to get into a vehicle demo and uh, really drive in the point for how this works, how you're supposed to block in a form and then how to refine that into hard surface. And what I really want you to get out of the vehicle demo is how rough things can be. You know, get a, get a sense of the entire process. You can really work with very rough proxies in the beginning stage when you're blocking things in. And then the tool set is really designed from there to hone in, uh, to kind of automatically take care of stuff. So, now the, after that, oh, it looks like I deleted it. After that, we're going to get into a free form demo uh, for creating a mech surface if we have time, things like that. Okay. Any questions before I jump in? Just move this off to the side and get myself orientated. 